If you frequently travel down Van Ness, you might be in for a surprise soon. In early 2016, Van Ness Avenue will undergo a major transformation. It's going to be the first transit corridor in the city to feature bus rapid transit, or BRT, as it's more frequently known. The goal? To get Van Ness and Geary Boulevard moving more smoothly and become one of the most reliable public transit systems in the country. Van Ness Avenue is a major connector uh, between Potrero Hill, Mission, which on the south side of San Francisco, connecting us to the north side of uh, the Marina District. It's also a major corridor that is a state highway. It divides the uh, financial district uh, with the Western Edition uh, neighborhood, which is mostly uh, residential. Uh, a lot of the geometry of Van Ness and the reason it's so wide is because it was used as a fire break following the 1906 earthquake. There was a lot of building demolition that happened on Van Ness to try to keep the fire from jumping over to the Western Edition. Back in the 30s, I believe, Venice had light rail or streetcar uh, lines operating on it. And then along with Geary, we took them out. So when we came to the question of how to address the needs on Venice, because of its cost effectiveness, we decided to uh, invest in the BRT system because we can use existing vehicles. The new uh, BRT is a, really a game changer. Uh, what we have is we actually will have transit in the middle. That is the far left lane of Venice on either side and then we'll have uh, boarding platforms in the middle. One of the reasons why the, the decision to board in the center median was because it's an exclusive right of way. What that means is, is that a pedestrian will cross from the sidewalk to the center of the street. The main goal is to improve transit service and particularly reliability along the corridor. So with this project, travel time will be significantly reduced. We think the ridership will go from what's currently 16,000 a day just in that portion of the corridor up to 22,000. And we'll have these beautiful new buses uh, like this one behind me. So with the combination of the dedicated lane and the signal priority and some wider spacing between stops, we were able to estimate about a 32% improvement in travel times, um, as well as about a 50% increase in reliability as a result of this project. We're putting in a completely new, up-to-date, modern system of new 30-foot high street light fixtures, as well as pedestrian lights on the same pole. So we will have a much more, again, inviting, safe, comfortable environment for pedestrians. What began as primarily a transit project has become a, a very much a three-dimensional complete street project. The water pipes under the ground, the sewer pipes, and the emergency uh, firefighting water system, most of them will all be replaced. Um, new uh, street lights, traffic signals, of course the paving, the striping, the trees, uh, both in the median and on the sides. The, the main core of the project goes from Market to Lombard, and that's where we will be replacing the sidewalks. Uh, there are a, a number of trees that need to be replaced, and there will be uh, additional uh, new plantings. We're planting a Corimbia citriodora, a, le a lemon-scented gum. It gets to be about 50, 60 feet tall, and it's going to come up and over the overhead wires that support or electrify the bus system. And you know, when we get done, Van Ness, it, it will look like a new street. It, it'll give it, really freshen it up and, and make it look like that grand boulevard again. We're eliminating, for the most part, left turns off of Van Ness onto the side streets. Uh, and there are places right now where the left turning traffic backs up the traffic. And we're upgrading, upgrading all the traffic signals um, so that the tra all the traffic, the muni traffic in particular, but all the traffic will flow more smoothly. There will be traffic impacts as we, as we execute the construction. And, and like I said, we're working uh, our best to minimize those impacts, but th there will be impacts and that will likely shift traffic and primarily it's the Franklin and Golf corridors that will pick up that traffic. Right now it looks like uh, we are scheduled to start in March of 2016, uh, uh, actual construction. In the past, people's perception of bus transit may be that it's slow and pokey, unreliable, perhaps noisy, and very po polluting. We're here to remake the image of the bus. Um, our new vehicles are already on our streets, and with the combination of the BRT improvements, we will be seeing much more rail-like service using rubber tire technology. I think the public is in for a great treat.